Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the Incredible Paradise. This is just about to become active again. I just pointed at it with the GeoTuner, so let's see it erupt. See? 1726 coming out. Okay, so they've turned it down. Lots of game updates have happened, and so I think they've actually turned down the temperature this comes out at. But yeah. And then now that's going to be idle, so I can now switch you back to the hydrogen vent, just like that. Luckily, they both use Abyssalite. Again, with the game updates and this being the testing branch, that stuff is going to change quite often. So don't take anything I say as being gospel. The game developers are doing an excellent job of updating stuff, and that's great. Ah, back to where we actually are in the game. We are low on dirt. How are we doing on research? Oh, actually, we might get through novice research right here. So right here, we are at 65 of 70, but we're low on dirt. Does this tell me how much it uses? I'd, God, it has been so long since I've ever bothered looking that up. Ah, 50 kilograms per research point. So we have another four in there. So we need 25 more kilos to finish off this part of the research. Up here in space, you've got 160 databanks created. So we'll let him keep cranking. What I do want to do is launch this. So this gas tank is now full and we should have telescope and food. I don't know if I need to actually store anything in here. I've got copper for building the suit dock. And then my dupes have been dumping magma over here from this side. So this is coming down quite well. All right, and you have a range of six. So let's just send it out three for now. And this looks like the most stuff. So one, two, three, right to there. And Lindsay. All right, now are you gonna automatically deliver your suit? No. Yeah, it's people digging. Yeah, so you just gotta move a little bit and then that will be com area not complete. Yeah, and I'm slowly digging out the obsidian so that I can fit more magma in there as evidenced by Rowan over here on a cot. So that kind of handles the basics. Just wanna send a big shout out to all the people who watch the videos and post nice comments. That is super great of you. I got this going. So first of all, let's look at temperatures. So this area, you can see it's starting to cool down. I turned all of this down for a while. Uh, I lost a video. I was recording and a game update happened and stuff crashed, so I kind of missed the startup of this. But we've got a meter set to one unit. One unit is one kilo of plastic. That plastic then rotates around. This monitors the temperature, sucks the heat out of the magma, but we've got plenty of that. I put this pipe in, so if I ever do get petroleum in here, I can use that. This then counterflows a little bit, but it's still 400 degrees when it comes out of here. Way too hot. Even running through some granite. You know, see some of it's 100, some of it's way too hot. So to cool it, I've got an aqua tuner running polluted water with a cold plate down here set to negative seven in order to not overcook my copper pumps. This all dumps in over here, runs across the cold plate when this temperature is low enough and the pressure is high enough. 
we then get gas over here. And now that all this hydrogen is used up, I can put in natural gas pumps. Oh god, I am running... Yeah, I'm running way low on... Hmm. Uh, I might have to actually go someplace. Like, I am running way low on material. I guess this doesn't actually need to be that. And then the rest of it... the rest of it I can just put here so that way I get more polluted water even though I don't have a thimble reed yet hopefully I find some and yeah, so that takes care of that we've got plenty of hydrogen natural gas is coming up and then this will be the backup power. The steam turbines are mostly keeping up right now. Oh, perfect. That's done. So now I just need the data banks. And if we come back here to research, the one I'm doing right now is drill cone. So in effort to not waste time, we need both of these. So let's start my groups researching that. I think I get better range if I switch to oxalate. So when this rocket comes back... Now, I, I keep thinking this. I keep thinking that I can use liquid oxygen, but I can't use liquid oxygen because I can't get to that research level for the liquid oxygen tank. So there is no point in pushing to build a, a thermal regulator liquid oxygen system until I can actually do that research and that's going to take a whole lot of dirt. And then I expanded this tank because I have melted all of the ice. Froze some naphtha there. Let's just say liquefiable. Not sleep only. Yeah, nothing. So this is all my water until I build those. And then this produces, it's about one and a half kilos total per entire cycle. Suppose I could tune that. What do you take? No, I can't tune that because I don't have any bleach stone. Awesome, then I'm still looking for one more dupe. Oh, and this whole little loop over here, I'm using to help cool everything. That polluted water loop. Runs through here. Piping is absolutely crazy. I'm just wondering whether or not I could get a little bit more cooling out of it. Let's see. Coming out at 24, coming in at 28. I think it'll catch up. Now that I turned these down a little bit, all that cooling. I really should switch this over to insulated, but I'm worried about making a mess, especially with the water. Well, let's do that. We can do it from the top. Besides, I'm not worried about it. it's the top. If I end up with a bit of debris in there, that's fine. I think, yep, yeah. oh, Lindsay's taking a nap, but we've got all the way out to here. Don't look, what do you keep? Oh, you don't have power. But you've got solar panels. I'm betting the sugar engine doesn't produce a whole lot of heat. All right, so we gotta wait on that. I wanna see who's getting scalded. Maybe up here. Oh, 
All right, Rowan, get out of there. But this is doing a pretty good job. I'm not trying to be super efficient with this. Like I could redo this so it only drops two tiles instead of three. But mostly I want to get this magma turned into rocks. This magma I'll have to figure out something to do with because that's eventually going to fill all the way up. I wasn't sure if this would actually suck the heat out and it's not doing a whole lot with it. All right, so you were there. You need to be connected and turned on. That would help. Building broken. How? I guess I got this set too low, but hydrogen shouldn't go 252. Oh, yeah, something weird's going on with this. It was a 235. I mean, that's a 20 degree difference, or almost. Okay, so now I need to be able to get in there. Oh, that's going to be a nightmare. All right, so let's turn this off. We've got plenty of natural gas stored up, so I'm not worried about that. Ooh, copper ore. Yes, thank you. Yeah, so that's off. This will slowly suck out the sour gas. Yeah, I've lost a lot of hydrogen. All right. Set this up and maybe we can slowly warm it up. Yeah, I forgot how to break in there. That's going to suck. That should be... I'm thinking about it. I was thinking this whole area is going to get flooded with hydrogen. Fine. But this is all sealed. This area is sealed off from this side. So even if the hydrogen does leak out, it's not very much of it and I can just pump it. All right, let's get in there and fix it. And then I got to run a hydrogen pipe over to it. Actually, I can just go around and then I don't have to worry about too many bridges so I can get the hydrogen back out. I just do that and then I bridge this onto there. Probably just a couple of mini gas pumps. And we'll clean it up. Oh, and there's my nice hydrogen mess. I got this disabled and Lindsay is on their way back. They've done their scanning. How are you doing? 250. I mean, I want to get up to, what, 450? 200 for this and 250 for that. Sorry, Liam, you're going to be up there for a while. Okay, and now I can hook this pipe up to there, that pipe up to there. And we can start to get the hydrogen back into this room. And then bring in this pipe for the rest of it. One of those where I suppose it makes sense that there's enough hydrogen in this room to refill this pipe. But we will suck it all into this pipe first and see if that's enough to fill this. If not, I'll bridge over some more. Good work, guys. Get out of there.
Yeah, because this is all up to two. I was really hoping to get the sulfur out of here, but this isn't going to get down to a vacuum because this isn't cooling it. And it looks like Lindsay's about to come in for a landing. Might as well bring both rockets back, get all the data banks out of there, and keep going with the research. You I want to switch to. Well, let's see, I used up all the fuel. Maybe there's a better engine. Interior, you're all set to grounded. Perfect. Did you get your suit back on? Yep, and you need to be set to vacancy. I'm going to come and grab all these data banks and keep going with research. Oh, I figured out the problem with this rocket. Uh, there's no battery. <laughs> That's what should be over here. So it can't store any power, which is why as soon as it stopped, it st the telescope stopped working. Small details. Oh, we should be just about getting down to a vacuum. Yeah, there's still 500 over here. This side should be getting down to a vacuum. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of naphtha here that froze and then melted again. So I trapped a little bit of hydrogen right there, which I think I got to get rid of. So let's just go with a granite block. Get rid of that. And how much dirt do I have? Probably not nearly enough. In the sense of, yeah, pretty much nothing. Okay, putting in that little block apparently pushed that hydrogen diagonally up into here. And now I've got a bunch more pumping to do. Pumping to do. Doesn't look like nearly enough to fill up this pipe. Oop, research is done. Not that I can do anything with the drill cone. Ah. And what I figured out was I don't have a better rocket engine. The only three I can do right now are carbon dioxide, steam, and sugar. I can't make steam because I don't have any way of pumping it. That won't die. Carbon dioxide doesn't get me far enough. So, that, and let's try oxalite and see... If that gives me better range. You guys are pumping along great. Rowan, of course, needs to be healed. You don't actually need any, and we got everything out of here. Looks good. Let's relaunch Liam. Yeah, there's still some bugs with the rocket engines, like my dupes won't deliver to this. Let's go to zero. Like, it doesn't have a little picture of sugar in there, and they won't deliver anything. So let's disable it. Enable it and see if that gets them to bring the sugar. Well, the answer is no. It's not a priority thing. They just don't think there are any errands. So let's swap it. Ah, so if I wait for that dupe to get out of there. Why are you even in here? What possible reason do you have to be Get out of the rocket? So now swap you for that. And then swap it back. To that. Oh, 
Oh, it had sugar. Weird. Why are you going in there? Everything's grounded. There's literally nothing for you to do in there. Okay, now we're delivering sugar. And switching docks light gives me nothing. Still range of six. Worth a shot. Okay, let's go. We can see that planet. Let's go into orbit around here. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. And start seeing other worlds. One of the excellent su suggestions from the comment section was Weezworts are really good at killing germs. So there's 10 million food poisoning germs. I just store all of my toilet water over there and then bring it over here occasionally. And it's killing 6% a cycle and then that increases the more radiation that they've been exposed to. So this will actually go down quite quick. Ooh, rockets in orbit. Oh, we got pips, we got mealwood. I'm assuming there's arbor acorns, crash satellite. Ice. Maybe. What's on this world? Sulfur, water, chlorine. I, oh, I thought I, I think I could click on these before. I can just see it now. Nice. That won't be that bad of a world to land on. We got plenty of height. I have no way of really getting there yet. Why don't you... Oh, because you're backed up on carbon dioxide. Maybe I should put that closer. Ow, oh, these went dormant again. Okay, what do we got? Another 57 cycles. I don't really need to tune the volcano. I just noticed that this tank's getting low. Yeah, we can fill that off of here. At some point, I will make my piping somewhat better. But the Santa shells over here have done a great job of cleaning up pretty much all the food poisoning. It's mostly just the toilet water I gotta get cleaned up. Oh, are you finally done? Oh, good. Or that short. I'll leave this. I will make another mistake later. Actually, I want to do that. That way I can come straight across, disconnect the hydrogen, and have it go back the other way. See? Magic. Our hydrogen pipe is refilled. We'll set this to negative 230, so hopefully I don't break that pipe again. I just gotta wait for all this to get back down to temperature, and then I can start my sour gas boiler back up. And clean all the material, because I of course need it other places. Oh, another planet! I don't have the range, do I? Three? Darn. One, two, three, I'd run out. What have you got? Ah, here's all my metal volcanoes. Yeah, not really water, but power and water. There's a tundra biome. But it's got freaking all of them, except iron. Cobalt, gold, copper, and aluminum. That looks like area complete to me. Let's have you come on back. Man, this many planets so close. That'll be great once I start going to other planets. You're coming down in temperature. And yeah, I 
realized I'm not sending any clean water over here because I'm disinfecting it. So yeah, this isn't going to run. You know what I can do? I can move this. It makes much more sense. Oh, and I'm taking quite a bit of time. Thank you all very much for watching. This has definitely been an interesting playthrough of really trying to stick to this main base and squeeze as much out of it as possible. This whole thing is just ridiculous by having... How much plastic do I have? I have 161 tons of plastic that I can feed into a sour gas boiler. And this cooling exploit is definitely exploity. Use it if you want to. I just thought I'd try to push it to the limit to show kind of how ridiculous it can be. And it's kind of working out. Ah, now we're starting to use up some carbon dioxide. So I hope you all just have an absolutely wonderful day. I'm going to send my rockets off to hopefully grab some more research. And I'm mostly waiting on dirt. But I think next episode it is finally time to start heading to the other worlds. So I hope you all have a great day and we'll see you next time.